Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be significantly emotional and I wanted to bring this to you before you watched it that if high weather or damaging weather like tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, things like that trigger you in any way, this is not something that you need to watch. Before we get into today's video, um, I just wanna kind of briefly explain. One, we survived a tornado. This is something new for me because I am now married and I have children. And I've been through tornadoes all my life as a kid growing up. And I've had to take shelter, I've had the sirens go off, I've had to take shelter at school, but that was all before I was married and I had children and a family. Whenever I'm recording this, it is on a Wednesday. The Friday previous, it was three days after Ansley's surgery. She was recovering, which is difficult um, in any surgery. And we received notification that Friday we would have storms. We let our guard down because in the past, they have told us that we would get really heavy storms and it ended up being nothing. It ended up being a little bit of thunder, some rain, and then it passed through and it was done. So Friday rolls around and the more we are watching the weather, the more we are paying attention, it became more severe. And because of this, we started to take it a little bit more seriously. And at the time that this tornado hit our city in the Little Rock Sherwood area, Matthew was at work at his full-time day job uh, at that building. Not our, not our building, but his full-time job building. Uh, me, Kenley, and Ansley were at home. Bela and Brinley were at school. And Bela and Brinley both go to two different campus sites. Bela is at one campus. Brinley is at a different campus. And to say that I was in extreme panic mode that Friday is an understatement. To not have my husband at home, to not have two of my kids at home, and not having any idea what this tornado was capable of. And even the Weather Channel had no idea what this tornado was capable of. This, there's footage of us in our safe place during this tornado. There's footage of me receiving a phone call from Matthew and a FaceTime from Matthew. And in that footage is uh, Matthew's survival, his miracle. Um, he was in the building that the tornado hit and he walked out of it. And it is an absolute miracle that he is still standing. And I, to say that I am grateful is an understatement. I am so thankful. This tornado hit the Little Rock area very hard. It demolished so many homes. It killed a few people. A lot are in critical condition. So many lost their homes and a lot were without power for several days. Uh, we were one of those people. Um, we were without power for two days, I think. And so we had to stay in a hotel for those two days and it was not comfortable at all. With kids, it's just not comfortable to stay in a hotel for that long period of time. And uh, so we did, we, we stayed in the hotel, we weathered it. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful that we even had a place to sleep. I'm grateful that our house was untouched. And I'm, I'm grateful that, that Matthew is safe. My children are safe. We are safe. And um, our hearts are very heavy for Arkansas. And if you have heard this on the news, please pray for Arkansas. For those I personally know, uh, people who have lost their homes that the tornado just demolished. So in this video, there will be video footage, pictures, and all that of this tornado and how awful it was and what we experienced that day. So I appreciate every single person for your prayers, for your thoughts. We are trying to recover from that and we are so grateful for all of the prayers that went up for the state of Arkansas and especially the Little Rock Sherwood area where we are from. I'm not gonna say that I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that this helps somebody to take the natural precautions that you need to take whenever it comes to a tornado because it is very serious. Do not let your guard down. Your safety is the most important thing. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna shut this door. Okay, shut this door and if y'all need to go to the bathroom, we, oh, we can, okay? Okay. Okay, all right. So things went from zero to 100 and we have got tornado sirens going off. 
I told you guys this has been a crazy day and a crazy week. <laughs> yeah, so we have got sirens. Let me turn a light on. Um, oh my gosh, I hate tornadoes. And by far, I absolutely hate them when I'm by myself. And I am by myself because Matthew's got to work. We're fixing to go outside and see what this weather is like. Okay, let's step outside and see if we can... I don't even... Okay, okay, sit in the Okay, 
I'll try to keep you updated if I hear. Okay, go, go. Hello? Hey. Hey, I'm here. Hey. Oh, are you okay? It got us bad. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. Oh my god. We took, we took cover in the bathroom. Babe. It's okay, Daddy's safe. Okay, Daddy's safe. It's okay. Are the girls okay? Ba I'm texting with Bayla. Brinley is, is in a safety precaution. I haven't heard anything yet from her, though, and we're okay. Alright. Alright, love you. Oh, my God. We can't get out. Oh, babe. Right, I'll keep you posted. Right? Okay, I love you, too. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so as y'all seen in the last clip, we were taking cover for a tornado. And as you can hear, I get a phone call during all of that. And it's Matthew calling me to tell me that the tornado hit the building that he was in. And yes, it did. It hit the building that he was in in the entire street demolished pretty much the entire street um but he is okay he's here and no physical damage um our business building is on the same street that he was on and it is in good shape it, the no damage at all but it did hit the building that he was in and he's just very shook up but we're really thankful that he's still here and you know alive and made it out alive and well i think it will yeah so if you are not from the Arkansas area on the news, this is the Little Rock tornadoes that went through and it, it literally demolished our city. So please keep us in your prayers. All of those who've lost their homes, have lost their lives, family members, the damage, all of it. Oh my goodness. We're fixing to go down the street where Matthew was whenever the tornado hit to see all of this destruction. It flattened so many homes. Siding. See, that's the siding I was seeing in the air. Right here is where yes. it started. Oh my God. That is so bad. Jesus Christ. Is this your building right here? Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so this is Matthew's building. He was in this building right here. Look at all this. I wonder if that's... Yeah, this is his building right here. This is where he was. Oh yeah. Oh good. Yeah. Their cars were blocked back there. That's his building that he was in. Somebody's random trampoline. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That person's house is completely gone. Oh you smell gas. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh honey. Oh my word. It's a miracle you're alive. Oh my god. Look at all of this. It is a miracle that you're alive. <clears throat> like I can't even believe it. Yeah. I'm gonna go down and turn around so you can see it more. Oh, and like this tree here fell down on that person's house. A lot of trees down. Yeah. The street. Look at the gas station here. Yeah. It wrapped all of that around it. It is where it was reporting that right there. Yeah, yeah. And this was right there. Power line, power. Oh, look at that trampoline. Oh my God. They didn't have tons of damage. They're lucky, but. trees uprooted like a lot of massive trees uprooted and this is just like so baby oh my god like that i got it oh man yeah you smell gas because these are probably gas powered houses you know that house usually got picked up on Oh my word. Oh Jesus. You can't even, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, no, they were fine. I, I talked to a guy over here. 
he's walking down the hall, the road, making sure everybody was okay. He said, I just moved my trash can back and looked up and there was wind. <laughs> yeah, he told me that. He said, I looked up and bam, it was just going around. I was like, what? Get back inside. And then he ran down and he said, we didn't get anything. Y'all okay? And I was like, well, barely. So today is the day after the storm and it's beautiful weather and everything is kind of, we're still all out of power here in our area where we are. But right now we're at the location where Matthew was whenever the tornado hit. And I just wanted to show you guys how truly a miracle Matthew is. Yeah, so this is where, this is all. So Matthew was in the back part of this building and it is, it is all of this. It is truly a miracle that he is still alive. Uh, there was windows busted out. All kinds of people's uh, furniture and and back over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, right there. That is a roof from someone's house, like two streets over. That is a roof from someone's house from like two streets over. So it is truly a miracle that Matthew, is, Matthew and all of his co-workers are still alive. But it, it just created this massive mess. Everybody is having to be out and about cleaning all of it up. So we're out here checking on people's cars for them. And he's kind of just FaceTiming those that are out of town and can't be here to see, you know, the destruction of their building and their property. That's what we're doing today. It's been very shocking and crazy to, to go through this. So from the last clip, we ended up getting a hotel room because power is still not restored and we have got to get work done. So we went and got a hotel room and we, uh, we got a beautiful, it's just like this massive, with a weird picture. <laughs> it's a, I guess it's called a suite. We went ahead and just got it done. But this is gonna be the, it, the end for us on this. Hey, Brindley, can you say hi? Hi. And now we're supposed to say bye. We will catch you guys in the next video. Say bye. Bye.